In order to make a desktop application we'll install it in PHP, we need two files to be downloaded. First go to and search for PHP Desktop Chrome. And click on this link. And from download section, click on download Chrome. And here we have it. It's a 51 MB EXE. Click to download. And after that, search for you know, setup. And here we have it. Click download in a setup and download this ML setup exe from any site. I'm downloading from this random site. Open the downloads folder where we have both our files downloaded. Now, first we install in setup. I'm not going to launch it for now. And now we move our zip file to the desktop or wherever you like. And I'll extract the contents of zip here. We don't need this zip file any longer, so delete it. And rename this folder to my desktop app. And open it. Go to the www folder and delete all the files that we have inside it. And create a new file and rename it as index.php. And now we write basic PHP code just to echo something. Save it and close. Go back. And click this php desktop chrome.exe and you can see our app in this window. This is our desktop app. But we also have this debug console and to disable that, open the setting.json file and set show console to false. Change the title to my desktop app. You can also change the window size of our app. You can also play with these options that we have here. So save this and close. Open our exe again. And you can see our app with no debug console. Now let's create an installer for our app. So open InnoSetup compiler. Cancel this and go to File, New. Click Next. Change the application name, its version. Next, Next. And browse for our exe, which is on our desktop inside our directory. My desktop app, select php desktop chrome.exe. Also, add our folder, my desktop app. We want to set a file to be created on our desktop. We don't want to use defined directives. And finish. Yes, we want to compile it now. We don't want to save it. It's being compiled. And it's done. So go to our desktop. And here we have our setup.exe file. And we simply install it. We want to create a shortcut on our desktop. It's now installed, so finish it. So here we have our PHP desktop app installed on our PC. So this was pretty basic tutorial and to use the database you can use SQLite 3 in these apps. I'm also going to make separate tutorial for that. Thanks for watching and if you like this video then please like, comment and subscribe.